Hey everybody, Emily here. Thanks so much for being here. This is my channel. You're on it. This is No Expert. Yay! And today I have guests! Yay again! Um, they are comedians, they're friends of mine, they are the co-hosts of Honey Baby Sweetie Love, the podcast. Uh, Colby Smith and Amir Khan! Hi! Yay! Hello! Today we're going to be doing something um, that to my knowledge none of us has ever done before. Um, we're going to be attempting to make a classic Victoria sponge cake. Guys, do you watch Great British Bake Off? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Like Me too. Yeah. And you know, they, they've made this cake on the Great British Bake Off frequently. Mm -hmm. I've never eaten one. Have you eaten one? No. 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 Guys, do you make cakes at all? Uh, no. I don't. I have never made a cake before without <laughs> the assistance of, uh, anyone else <laughs> telling me what to do and how not to mess it up. All right. um, so this is a first for me in lots of ways. This is my first Victoria sandwich. It's my first cake. <laughs> <laughs> how about you, Amir? I'm a pro expert baker and actually this is going to be very easy and it's going to come out perfectly well and you're going to be following my instructions. Well, great. I'm looking yeah. forward to that being the case then. <laughs> yeah. uh, so if you want to take the lead then. I'm okay. <laughs> to do this, we basically need a classic sponge cake. Um, we need buttercream and we need to make jam. Uh, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make some jam. Nice. Let's do it. Are you excited to do this? Let's get it done. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm calling this, how many comedians does it take to make a cake? <laughs> Let's go! All right, so uh, the first thing we have to do is make jam. We're gonna make some strawberry jam because that's the recipe I opened while I was at the grocery store. <laughs> Um, okay, so what we have to do is we're going to turn our burner onto low. Our lovely handy burner here. Uh, and we have 200 grams of strawberries and 250 grams of sugar that we measured out because we're goddamn professionals. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we have just a squeeze of lemon juice that we're going to add in. Colby's going to do that part. Yeah, Colby's yeah. going to handle lemons for us. I'm really <laughs> strong. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, we've got this heating up and we're just going to put our strawberries in. Uh, and we're just gonna like mash them. Here, you want to mash some uh, strawberries? Yes. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Wait, what? Holy, do you want to mash one? I'll do this some is mashing. Really satisfying. I'll do some mashing. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. That's great. What are you imagining, Colby? Um, I'm imagining that I'm Godzilla, but like a even bigger. All right, so we got our our strawberries nice and mashed, and we're just gonna add our sugar in, and okay. then we're gonna bring it to a boil. And then we're gonna cook it on low for a bit. Yeah, totally. Nice. Easy. All right, so our jam is at a steady boil, so we're taking it down low now, and we're just gonna simmer it until it becomes jam. And add some lemon juice. Here's, a, here's <laughs> what we gotta do for the lemon. Do you have a fork? I've always, this is how I'm gonna try this. What if I didn't so, have a fork? So, <laughs> you know, since we're talking about the Great British Bake Off, I was watching The Chef Show with mm -hmm. John Favreau. Are you sure. familiar with this? Mm. I've seen so, the movie version. I've never watched this TV show. This TV show, I would say, is better than the movie. Hard to believe, the, but okay. <laughs> So in it, he like, I think that's when they're in Las Vegas or something. They're they're these like two old ladies who have some restaurant there, and they show them this trick where they have the lemon cut like that, and they just stick the fork in, and then they like twist it, and it juices it super fast. Ooh. And I've always wanted to try that, and I think now on camera might be the time to this do it. This is the moment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. Tell the people about your podcast while we wait. Oh my goodness, things our that, podcast is called things that are sweet. The dream to the lens. Our podcast is called dragon. Honey Baby Sweetie Love. Uh, wait, this camera, this camera. <laughs> This camera. Yeah. <laughs> Tell the people what you got going on. This one over here? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, our podcast is called Honey Baby Sweetie Love, and it's a uh, it's a parody of love and dating shows where uh, that felt like whenever we started, it felt like there was this stretch where like so many comedians had shows where they were just like getting very vulnerable and honest about their personal lives. And uh, And you decided to not do that. We we're like, well, let's do the opposite of that. Yeah. <laughs> And well, I think what we thought was, oh, people will notice that it's a parody. That, that it's well, no, that there are uh, a lot of shows like this, and uh, it's like time to parody them. But in fact, people really like those shows and don't like what we do. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta check out Honey Baby. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my fork. All right, let me get back in. I've got my lemon. All right, he's was I explaining what this entails enough, like clearly enough earlier? Where you as go like, as you on like this ever stick it in and then like twist like this. Oh god. <laughs> but there's so much in it still. See, 
That's not how it looked on the chef show. Mm-hmm. It looked completely empty in just one twist like that. Do, it, do we, want, we want to put more in there? Yes. Yeah, okay. go for it. Right. Why not? Okay. A little tart jam. There we go. There we go. Do it. Okay. You're the only one who can. I am barely. Can you twi- Can you move your arms so that you can show the camera? A I'm like barely doing anything. Barely right? doing anything. Because you're so strong. Easy. It's working. You're like a Hulk. I'm really yeah, good. Ed Norton one. <laughs> you're basically Ed Norton. The one who is Joe Rogan. Ed Norton. <laughs> right, I feel like that's enough lemon juice. Probably. That's so Dude, much. That was, that was so much. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm also gonna just fish this seed out. All right. So I think our jam is done, debatably. Yeah, it's definitely liquid, but not as much liquid. Yeah, it's like it's. We're gonna just find out the way that we find out. I tried um, putting a spoon and then doing the, like a cross thing, and it didn't fill in, which I think is how you know jam's done. None of us know, so we're gonna find out together. <laughs> we're not sure. Except me, I know actually. Yeah, it's except for me, cool because he knows. He's not telling that. Okay, this is looking. Are we supposed to like strain this? No. 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 Definitely not, right? I don't think so. Chunky. Chunky. Chunky yet funky. Chunky, funky, jam. So the next thing we have to do is make our cakes. Nice. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. <gasps> what the frick? So here's what we've got for this cake. <laughs> uh, we have four large eggs. We have 225 grams of flour. Um, in Technically the recipe says self-raising flour, so we're going to add um, it calls for a, te- a teaspoon of baking powder. We're going to do three teaspoons of baking powder because I googled it and that seems to be like roughly right. I don't know. Is that right? Yeah. We're going to do like two. two. You know what? Yes. We're it's roughly right. right. <laughs> Approximately <laughs> two to three teaspoons of baking powder. We're going to find out. And a pinch of salt. And we have eight ounces of butter, room temperature butter. And then we have um, extra fine. Uh, sugar, caster mm-hmm. sugar, uh, is what they call it in England. Here it is super fine or extra fine. It's a little finer than granulated sugar. I just happen to have some, so we're gonna try it. Go as classic British Bake Off as we can, because it just happened to be in my house. Yes. Yeah. If this was classic British Bake Off, we would be complaining about how the recipe doesn't say enough. It's just like, and now it just says, make the meringue. Uh, and then we have two eight inch pans greased and a little bit of parchment paper in the bottom. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little, mm-hmm. little taste of parchment paper <laughs> to try and keep it from sticking. Um, and we're ready to try and make this thing. Oh, and our oven is currently preheating to 350. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it is crazy. I have seen every episode of Great British Bake Off some multiple times, and it is crazy how little I have absorbed. <laughs> like, how little knowledge I have taken away <laughs> from just this huge time investment. All right, so we're just going to pop our eggs in here wow. and put it on. All right. Yeah. All right, we have a cake batter. Let's divide it up between right. two. Uh, these two thingy midgets. Yes. You want to try and divide it evenly. Okay. To the degree possible. All right, <laughs> let's do it. All right. All right, I think we're just about ready. Our oven is preheated. I don't know why I'm not looking at the camera while I'm saying this. So it looks like our batter is just about ready to go into the oven. The oven is preheated. Do you guys want to say it? I don't know the first one. What yeah, you do on your marks. On your marks. You get set. Bake. <laughs> All right, so the cakes are in the oven, and we're going to bake them for 20 to 25 minutes. Good. <sighs> I think, I mean, these look like cakes. They look like them. They smell like them. Which is what we were going for. That's hopefully, yeah. they'll taste like them. Hopefully. All right. Is it buttercream time? It's buttercream time. It's time to get creamy, dude. Okay, so you go back like that. Mm-hmm. And then See how it snaps in? Yeah. You feel okay. it? Okay. I love it. Yeah, cool, right? Feels great. One more time. Very satisfying. There you go, I did it. Nice. So, next thing we have to do is make our buttercream. Mm. Um, so to do that, we have 
three and a half ounces of softened butter. Oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you know, three and a quarter ounces. <laughs> Some might call that, well, I hate to say it, butterfingers. Oh, oh, this is your show now. I'll see you later. <laughs> Um, all right, and we're gonna turn this on. Stir. Maybe even up to two. We're just gonna add our sugar. Here we go. Do you want to do it? Yes. All right, come here. All right, so basically we're gonna let that thing run for like ten minutes. <laughs> okay. Cool. We're gonna add some vanilla, and we're gonna add some oat milk, and then we just like let it ride. Right. Yeah! yeah! We're at six! <laughs> now we're talking, baby. Oh my god! I can't believe this is happening yes. before my eyes. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Alright, so our buttercream is looking great. And I think it's just about time to assemble. We're going to check to make sure our cakes are cool. Because number one lesson of the Great British Bake Off. If you ice it when it's hot, mm. the icing's just going to go into the cake. Mm -hmm. You'll learn that on Nailed It, too. <laughs> and? Right here. Yes. <laughs> All right, we have our jam cooled. We have our beautiful golden brown, no burnt bottom, no soggy bottom cakes. Mm. Um, we have buttercream that I have uh, clumsily and largely successfully put into a frosting bag or a piping bag. And we have some confectioner's sugar for sifting over the top at the end. Amazing. And we're gonna turn this into a Victoria sponge. Let's do Let's it. Freaking go. All Let's right. Freaking go. All right. The first thing we have to do is spread this jam right on there. Okay. I'll, I'll do half, and you'll do half. Yeah. Perfect. Hey, you guys want to? You guys want to handle the jam spreading? Okay. So this is good. Yeah. Is Beautiful. It? This is good. Beautiful. Yes. All right, jam. Jammed. All right, now we're gonna try and do this. I listen. This was the only frosting tip they had at my grocery store at ten thirty last night. Um, so any comments about which one I chose? I don't want to hear it. It's good jam. Nice. Is it good? It's very good. It's nice. very, very good. All right, we're gonna just try. We're just gonna see what happens. Nice. Okay. Oh my god. Colby, your, lime, your lemonade looks like fucking stupid after she did that. I know, <laughs> seriously, this is unbelievable. Do you guys want to do some florets of buttercream? Sure. I, I've never well, done. Of course, yeah. Is this this is what you do? You do little. Yeah, I mean, in theory, okay. it's supposed to be like big, big ones, but this was the largest tip that we have. So... I see. I see. Okay. Yeah, just. Yeah, I'll try one. I'll try one. Can you just kind of do them around like this? Yeah, get it. Do it. <laughs> what the fuck? Whoa. Like that? Dude. Is that okay? Yeah. Again. Dude, what the heck is I mean, going me, on? so far, me and Circles have not been very good partners today. Mm. But today, right now? So the now? fact that this is going okay is 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 good for, for me. Is a circle traditional thing? Like, it has to be a circle as opposed to we just put it like a spiral really quickly around it? <laughs> you know, I don't know. I honestly just went off the picture of Mary Berry's. Oh, wow, so um, and also I thought maybe doing some middle practice ones would be good before we had to do the edge ones where it has to be good, you know? Oh, okay. So I should not have done those two on the edge. Well, I'm glad that you did because I feel like you put your stamp on it, you know? Yeah. People see this and they'll think this is a Colby made Colby original. Victoria yeah. sandwich. Okay. All right, well, here we are, and we are ready to taste our classic Victoria sponge. Hmm. Uh, have a little tea for everybody. Mr. T. I Mr. Am Mr. T. <laughs> and Mr. T. Um, oh, I need my cake cutting knife. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. This show's a disaster. Yeah, you guys have no idea what we have here. <laughs> oh, you got the knife. That's great. <laughs> and I, I got us honey to put in our tea because of your podcast. Yes. Honey Baby Sweetie Love. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Lovely. That's are you ready to... Uh, Oh wow, we get to do this? Yeah, I do just it? assumed you would do it. Ready. Let's do it. Cut the cake. Oh, it's very easy to cut. Oh, that's I wasn't important, sure. Then, I think. Very nice. Maybe we'll go this way. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're the boss. I'm following your lead. Okay. Wow. It's falling apart a little bit, but I think in a way that's kind of fun. And this is how this is how Paul Hollywood does it. He ha he has it and then he goes like <laughs> Perfect. Right? 
<laughs> all right, so let's all try this gig, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. The bottom's not soggy, I'll tell you that maybe. I mean, that rules. I love that. Oh, God. I love that a lot. I love well, it. This is great. I would pork this. I tell you what, the strawberry taste really, like, it, it's not that much jam, but it really comes through. Yeah, and it makes mm -hmm. a big difference. I feel like without it, it would just be like a sweet vanilla cake. Yeah. But with the jam. Oh, mm -hmm. man. Yeah, I'm going to crush this accidentally too fast. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, I wanted to hold on. Look what? Cake is fluffy, moist. Mm hmm. Yeah. Buttercream is sweet. Yeah. And, like, the jam then brings in, like, the freshness with, like, the lemon juice. Mm hmm. And that strawberry flavor. Hell yeah. Wow. Honestly, all those years of watching it on television, not exactly what I expected it to taste like, but I'm super happy. Uh huh. What do you think we would have been uh, cut out of the show, voted off, or whatever it is they call it? I think that they would probably be like aesthetically some missteps were made. Yes. Mm -hmm. But, but that the cake is well baked. Mm -hmm. The jam has that great strawberry flavor coming through. Mm -hmm. Nice and creamy buttercream. I think we would squeak by. I don't know that we'd make it like. Okay. Are we in the top? Are we in the top fifty percent or in the bottom fifty percent? But safe. I think we're right in the middle, safe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Just yeah. below fifty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like we're six of ten. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's like a, like you know eventually our skills aren't gonna like cut it once we get we're to the top. Get soon. But like we made a Victoria sandwich. Like we successfully completed the mission. Mm -hmm. I'm done. And it tasted good. <laughs> Tastes really good. <laughs> oh God. How did baby food love? Where can people find it? It's on Apple, it's on Spotify, anywhere people get podcasts. Anything else you want to plug also while you're here? What's going on? Should, should we doing? plug it how we usually plug the show? Oh, sure, yeah. So you yeah. want to start off? Um, if you already listen to the show, you can rate us and review us five stars. And even if you don't uh, listen to the show, you can rate us and review us five stars in the Apple iTunes store, store which feels antiquated to say, but it actually really does help. It gets a uh, it gets a lot of people out, and you know the big, big thing is word of mouth. You know, a personal recommendation goes a really long way, especially in this world where the media landscape is so. But, uh, Populated and everything is like very yeah, niche and everybody video. has a million choices. Awesome. So uh, if you like it, night. tell somebody, have a great night. Bye. Uh, I'm Emily. This is No Expert. If you like this video, give it a like. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Go check out their podcast. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. It's really cool Ooh. to get to hang out with you both. Yeah. Man, it was great. This was cool and this tastes good. And thanks you for being here. I'll catch up with you later. Bye. And bye bye. Oh, baby. This is really good. This is a, an amazing cake. <laughs> well, you know, as uh, Julia Child once said... Butter! <laughs> <laughs>